Hi, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. And boy, do we got a lot today. Yes, we do. Congratulations to actress Eva Longoria. Just had a baby boy with her hubby. Janet Jackson is gracing the cover of Essence magazine. She talks about depression. Now, she's headlining the Essence Fest. But you would think a woman this gorgeous, her body so beautiful, would have a problem with depression. But she talks about it. She talks about she was always ashamed of having so many failed relationships. But the joy of her son is making her so happy. Michael B. Jordan is starring in Creed 2. It's coming out in theaters in November, but the trailer is out. It was filmed right here in Philadelphia and certainly cannot wait to see him, Sylvester Stallone, all the boxing matches. It's going to be really, really good. I got some dating terms for you. But first, I got to tell you about Jada Pinkett Smith's tight vagina. Okay. She has this talk show. Or Facebook, Red Table Talk. She, she talks about everything. Jada Pinkett Smith says that her vagina is tight like a 16-year-old. Auntie, how do you get your vagina tight like a 16-year-old? It's this thing. It's a rejuvenator. And they put it down there and it's warm. And you get these treatments and it makes it tight again. Because when you get older, babies and, you know, you're getting older. And you want to keep it tight. You want to keep it tight. So she said her vagina is like a 16-year-old. Go, Will. Go, Jada. Mm -hmm. The Michael Jackson musical is coming to Broadway. Yes, it's a musical. The Michael Jackson estate has said that they're with it. They want it. They're releasing the song. So it's happening in 2020. What's next for Tiffany Haddish? She's got a movie. Uncle Drew. Lil Rel's in it. Kyrie Irving is in it, and it opens in theaters on June 29th. Heather Locklear, I was telling you guys, she threatened to shoot herself. They had to be arrested. She choked her mother. I still love her. T.J. Hooker, Melrose Place, Dynasty. She was like one of my favorites in the 90s. Heather, you got to get it together. Are you drinking, doing drugs, and choking your mom? Biting cops? She got to get it together. I want to see her get it together. Little Kim. Her bankruptcy may not be dismissed. Apparently, she told them she's $4 million in debt. Little Kim offered to pay, because she owes a lot of taxes, $5,500 a month for the next 60 months. Well, the trustee said that's not good enough. So does she have to rework the payment plan or will they dismiss it? If this bankruptcy case is dismissed, guess what? She still got $4 million in debt. Suge Knight, hip hop bad guy, as a lot of people refer to him, very instrumental in the 90s in the hip hop era. He's in jail. He's probably going to be in jail for the rest of his life. His mother died and they wouldn't let him out for the funeral. Jay-Z, big congratulations. He's now the president of the Puma Basketball League. It's over for Jerry Springer. It's over. Any episodes you see will be repeats. Jerry Springer, 27-year run. It ran so long, I didn't know it was still running. But it is. No more Jerry Springer. Only reruns. The story of Marvin Gaye is coming to the big screen, courtesy of Dr. Dre. So many people have tried to tell this story, but the family wouldn't release the music. And you know what? You can't do the Marvin Gaye story and not tell the music or not have the music. Dr. Dre got it. Cooperation for the family. That's coming to the big screen. Lionel Richie. Uncle Lionel, who just turned 69, is bringing the Sammy Davis Jr. story to the big screen. What was interesting about Sammy Davis Jr., we knew the Rat Pack, Candyman, the car accident where he lost his eye. He was doing the swirl and getting criticized for it and dating these white women and having his life threatened. He, The Nixon controversy, he was like hugging Nixon. It was kind of like Sammy lost his mind, then he kind of brought it back, but then he died at the 60, age of 64 owing a ton of tax money. It's a lot. But Lionel is bringing the Sammy Davis Jr. story to SZA, uh, the popular singer, saying that her voice is back. SZA, you're not Beyonce. You're not 
not Beyonce. You only got one album. She's going to retire on one album. Now, I like SZA, but when you got the likes of Ella Mae, she got that song, Boot Up, Her, yeah. There's some, there's some females out there. SZA, stop, stop, stop playing. Filming has started on the Rudy Ray Moore movie Dolomite starring Eddie Murphy. Did you know that Wesley Snipes was in it? Yes! It's coming to Netflix next year. Um, who was who was Rudy Ray Moore? Who was Dolomite? He was a pimp hood hero who would do ha, 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 and his hat never moved. Can't wait to see this. I, I want to see Eddie Murphy in this movie. Jamie Foxx is hosting the BET Awards as of yet. As of yet. I can't say who the big honoree is. I want you to read between the lines. I love to bake. Underline bake. Get back to me. Figure, I may be to tell you by the next time we do uh, the... <laughs> What's going on with Meek Mill? Well, this judge is taking her sweet time. Either you're going to dismiss the case or you're going to give him a new trial. It's this long-standing legal battle that he has. Judge Denise Brinkley, she has until June 30th. They will probably have to go over her head to get a decision. Hmm. What else is happening? We just had so much. Oh, okay. I, I do pop culture too, everybody. And this is where Chocolate Divinity, one of my millennials, comes in. Let's talk dating terms for 2018. <laughs> Come around here, Toya. Come around here. Now, you know you blew my mind. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever been orbited? I, I, what is this, Patty? <laughs> Orbiting is when somebody, they ain't going to call you, mm -hmm. but they're looking at everything you do on social media. Oh, everything, okay, your crazy. IG, your stories, mm -hmm. your Facebook. They're looking at everything you're doing, but they're not keeping in touch with you. Yes. What's cushioning? Mm -hmm. Cushioning is another, <laughs> is another uh, word for the side chick. Imagine that you're a couch. Mm. You're a couch, but you got this cushion. <laughs> that feels good, and you like the cushion on the couch. That means that you like the side chick. Or you are a side chick. Now, you do know there are people who don't realize they're the cushion. Yeah, they sure don't. And sometimes you got to tell them, baby, you're the cushion. Sit down, couch. be comfy. Yes, Let be, me comfy. be comfy. over here. Yes. <laughs> What's fubbing? This one. Fubbing is when you can't stop looking at your phone. Mm. That's annoying. It See, is. I'm older. I'm like, I've been, damn phone down. I've been guilty of this. Okay. <laughs> Stashing. Stashing is my favorite. Stashing is when you're seeing somebody mm -hmm. and they don't get to be around the family. They mm. don't get to be around the friends. Mm. Kind of basically, you don't bring them outside. And they've been asking? And they've been asking. Oh. Where meet your family? Hmm. Never. Because <laughs> <laughs> so you got one job. Uh -huh. You got one job. Mm -hmm. This is what I want you to do. Yes, and do it good. And do it good. That's why you're still here. Yeah. Because you're doing it good. You're doing, doing a good, good job at that. that. You're that. <laughs> but <laughs> just stay in your lane. But just stay in your lane. Uh -huh. I got dumped by somebody years ago. Mm -hmm. I said, You're the maintenance man. You're not supposed to come outside. Don't, don't get in your feelings. <laughs> yeah, he got all in his feelings and he dumped me. So then he said, Patty, how do you get dumped by the maintenance man? I said, I did. Oh. I did. <laughs> Hatfish. What's Hatfish? Oh, this is Funny. <laughs> All right, Sorry, so you meet somebody. <laughs> this is funny. You meet somebody and they fine. They got this hat on. They fine. They're like, whoa, who that? But then they take off the hat. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And then you're like, who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> yeah, yo, who that? Like, yes. first it's like, who that? Goes into, who that? Who that? Yeah, so that's hat fishing. <laughs> Caspering is when you let someone down easy before you leave. Like, okay. So nice, and you're a nice, you're a nice person. But it's, we gotta end it. This, this isn't this is, us. This isn't us. Listen, I'm not giving you everything you're looking for. Also, right? So you you grab their hand. Uh huh. It's yeah. gonna be okay. You hit them with the. It's not you. It's, it's not me. you. It's me. <laughs> this happened to me with the main. It's me. <laughs> he said, "I think you're a nice girl." <laughs> 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 but 
but you, never, but you never take me anywhere. Oh, no! <laughs> so I sat there and said, can I don't? You don't want to go out tonight? You don't want to go out tonight? No. You don't want to take me to the corner? I can't go to the You knew what it was when you came over. <laughs> <laughs> They're dating terms. Are they new? Really? Nope. They just have new names. Mm -hmm. I'm Patty Jackson. It's Chocolate Divinity. <laughs> I'm your auntie of pop culture. Subscribe to the channel. Spread the word. Like. Leave a comment. Did you figure out what I meant when I said I love to bake? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Toya. Under, underline bake. Lake. Like I'm, I'm doing words that rhyme. All right, I gotta go because you because I can't because I, I I can't reveal anything yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I'm gonna leave you with. Put an R on the bake.